Jenny Stanton here for IrishBoxing.com with Phil Sutcliffe Jr. People say Young Phil. Do you, do you go by Young Phil or do you get offended by that? I don't get offended. No. It's all well, you're known by Young Phil. Would you be? Of thick skin, Jenny. Yeah. Well, people, your people would say Young yeah, Phil, yeah, wouldn't they? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. And you're all right with that? No problems. Yeah. No problems whatsoever. And it's good to see you back in Dublin, obviously, you're uh, over in Australia. Home for a little holiday, yeah. you know, home for a holiday. I yeah. got roped into a bit of work. You know, my dad, my dad said, uh, would I help Peter out on the, the corner because he's away, so, mm. so of course I've no problem at all. Um, will you be down, when you're home then, is part of the holiday be down the gym? Like? You know, I've been, I've been in the gym a couple of days here, a couple of days here, but other than that, I'm just seeing all my family and friends, yeah. you know, making, make, making the most of time home, you know, because mm. it's a big trip. Yeah, and do you feel comfortable in the corner then? Are you, like, I know, you've been, I know it's probably doing seconds since you were three or four or something, but... It, it's, it's, it's just normal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just normal, isn't it? Yeah. It's just normal. And uh, do you enjoy coaching then? Yeah, do you know what? I'm actually starting to enjoy the coaching side of things now as mm. well. Like, you know, I do miss fighting, I'm not going to lie, but as you know, everybody knows the career didn't happen as quick as, as I want them yeah. the hands and stuff like that. Like, but Was it the hands the reason you retired? No, no, do you know what? I actually got run over by a bus, Johnny. <laughs> run over by a bus in Turkey. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I was meant to fight Tyrone, the Kenny. Yeah, yeah. The first time I had to pull out because I tore, tore a tendon in my yeah, knee yeah, yeah. or a ligament in my knee. I think it was a tendon or a ligament in my knee. My knee, my knee went out like a balloon. And I fucked off the Togi for a training camp for the second one. I got run over by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh. I'm still, I'm still here. I'm yeah. still, that's why I'm laughing. And you called it a day after that then? Well, I had it before I came back. I had, a, had like... I had a long three months of rehabilitation. And this gun this 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 gun has a bigger head than me and, and, and he's lighter than me, you know. But um no I uh, had a long road back. Um lots of physio, lots of uh, pain in the arse. To be honest with you, fucking when a man gets held up with his mother trying to piss in a, in a, in a, in a, a bed pan, it's a bit it's a bit disheartened, isn't yeah. it? But, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be here. And um, I did come back. I had um, I had um, I had like ten weeks of training. I had like ten weeks of training. Me, me dad was meant to be going away, so. I, I, I pulled the pin and I, I, I booked I booked to go away to Australia. So yeah. I was I was kind of like I'll go away for a few months. The, 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 the ex-girlfriend and us we decided to fuck off. Yeah. And, but it didn't work out. Um, so I stayed there. You know, I just stayed there. And just continued on doing what I was doing. And the the boxing side of things like the body wasn't feeling the best after the one. Do you regret like any of it? Do you think you should have done better? Went for it or? or? Even the maybe the Yiga fight or, or that like that like the, when you seen how well he done or ah, sure, look, like you can't regret in life, can you? You know, yeah. like, you know, but a, a lot of lessons, yeah. a lot of lessons, and hopefully I can move forward, teach the, to a lot of like, even even me little young brother, yeah. uh, young Dylan. You know, hopefully he, he, might, he might listen to me. You know, <laughs> no way he might listen and uh, take take a page from the book. You know, yeah. and listen to me dad even. If I listen to me dad. I'd, Boxing would have been different. Yeah. We did have a few hand problems. Yeah. We would have been a lot different if I listened to me that. And then, like in Australia, how you you're, like you're there for staying there now? So you building a went, stable? Yeah, yeah. So when I went to Australia, I was walking on site and stuff like that. Yeah. I, was just, I, just got, I just got fed up. I was just three years in site. Mm. Went back to the gym. I started coaching out of a gym. Um, Bondi Boxing Club. And we're TJ Dotney trained. Yeah. Um, now TJ wasn't there. He lived in Perth, but that's where he trained. And anyway, mm. but um, then I, I moved and I got my own gym at the start of the year. So I'm six months in my own gym now, and it's going okay. You know, it's going okay. And you're doing amateur pro the whole time. So I, 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 one of the other, one of my other my partner Emma, yeah. Emma, Emma, Emma Brown. I trained him for a couple of fights. He's a professional record yeah, as yeah. well. And he came over, so we're doing amateur at the minute. There's one pro in the gym at the minute, yeah. so we're gonna have a foot. He's, he's, he's a young Shannon Moyley. He's uh, he's either four and one or five and one. So when I go back, I'm gonna put some time and effort into him, and hopefully we can get him going. Would you bring any Irish lads over? Like we always say, like it's yeah, probably well, the, one of the best places to, to go to, for. To, to be honest, like to be honest, if um, like it's an it's an easy route. Jesus Christ, it's an easy route, you know. Um, and I'm not showing on the Australians. Yeah. They're good people, and they're good. Some some good boxers there, some some good trainers there. Um, a handful, you know, a handful. <laughs> you know, 
um, few and far between. But um, yeah, if it was an Irish boxer and I wanted an easy route, why not? And they throw you straight in, don't they? Like they give well, look, you chances and toil for you. See, see, the thing is over there is like, you, you, like if you have a bit of you, you'll be okay. Yeah. You know, you'll be, you'll do okay over there. You know, but, like, but like it's not easy in Australia either. You know, yeah. like, they're, not, they're not all going to be pushovers. You know, yeah. but when you have Australian managers, Australian promoters and stuff looking after you, and they and they want to look after you if they, if you get that way, you yeah. know, like. Then it's a little bit easier, you know. But it's definitely a lot easier in Europe. Trust me, that and I say that now. Like, and would you ever go back like that? No hope of even over there. Like, would you think I might win an Australian title? Or? What? Yeah, what? Like, know, for us, pay me, pay me, yeah. and I go back. Pay me, and I go back. So, I had the laugh. Um, I was home. The last time I was home, I was on a, a show like that. Misfits. Yeah. And I was hearing the most of someone who again paid for two minute rounds. I was like, I'd fight the four of them for, for the hundred grand. You know that way. Like, this is this is the type of thing where where you struggle as a boxer, where you give all your life to. You know that way. And then, yeah. This sort of stuff happens. But like, listen, we don't knock anybody for getting in them ropes. Trust me, I've been there. So I don't knock anybody. And fair play to them. You know, and that's 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 brilliant. You know, for them. Like, you know. Me personally, no, we're on the same page there. I think, you know, yeah. me personally, it's 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 not a thing I'd support. Yeah, and then finally, just like, and I, I don't know how you're gonna take this question, but like, so people talk about your power non-stop. Like everyone, I even think Con Sheehan said you were the hardest to hit. Like, like body, is, I think I hit Con with a body shot. <laughs> did, did, did you drop him? No, 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 no. Jesus, he was a hundred kilos. <laughs> but like. Is, were you aware you had that power, or is you it know, something you worked uh, like, on? Or no, no, you know, it was it was it was a it was a over time developed by my father. You know, it was developed by my father. You know, so it, it actually is technique, more technique, than that and God. Technique. Yeah. Oh, go speak to me, Dad. He'll show you how to throw a few good shots. You know, yeah. but um, like a lot was all to my father. You know, that way, like. It's their own way hard work. You know? Yeah, and like you don't mind people sort of because like, sometimes I think does it detract that like you wear like a top amateur fight or not? People talk about your power. Or... You know, it's like when you consider when you consider where it could have been, and you know, like I done my hand in the in 2009 the World Championship when the training camp. Yeah, yeah. I sparred, I sparred the, the the first day. I sparred the Cuban that won the that won the gold medal. Bad the French, they got beaten by um, to win a bronze medal. Yeah. They got beat by um, when you get beat by he got beaten by the English Holland, Scott Cadell. Mm. Scott Cadell. I sparred the three of them on the first day and then there was no sparring with them for the next the rest of the camp, you know, like this is this is stuff that like I take into account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like that's just boxing. You gotta get a bit of luck with boxing too, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. When you when I think back and and how far how far I could have went if only you listened to me then you know mm-hmm. if only well, well you know you can say that to people as well can't yeah, you yeah well now I can yeah. you know like I said it to me brother a few times is listen to that listen to me if you want yeah. what 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 level of talent is he like he was my little brother yeah, yeah, yeah. he's exceptional yeah. boxer exceptional yeah now we've yet to see him I don't know if he's going to turn pro the rumor was he had you know like. He has a bit of hand trouble too. Oh, right. He has a bit of hand trouble too. Now, I highly doubt he punches as hard as me. Right. Like, I highly doubt it, yeah. considering how slick he is, you know, like, mm. very, very slick, talented, very, very talented. But who knows, maybe my dad could slow him down. You know, if he comes trained, he's yeah. meant to come train with dad. Having a little bit of hand trouble, he's just had surgery. Um, so we'll see, like, but well, he will be one to watch if he, if he listens. If he gets it right, yeah, and he, he is a, he's a quality fighter, and he has a little bit about him as well, hasn't he? Like wow. a bit of character. I wish, like... I wish I had his talent. Yeah. Well, if I had a little bit of his talent as a boxer, it'd be a lot better. I know I could box. Like mm. I just been in there with my with my former cut man and, and corner man Tommy Tommy yeah, yeah. Uh, McCormick. He, he was just saying to all of them in there. Jimmy Halpin was saying the same thing. He says people just knew you for a banger, but they, they didn't realise how good of a boxer you were. You know that way, like. Well, Listen, that's life. You know, as my dad would say, stick on Frank Sinatra there. <laughs> that's the way to end it. Good man, you did it your way, Phil. Thanks. Good man.